Okay, I'm Gord Miller, the Environmental Commissioner of Ontario. I'm here in uh, March of 2010 with at Globe in Vancouver, a fantastic uh, environmental trade show and conference that goes on every two years. And I'm here with uh, Marcia Cunningham, and uh, she has an interesting project to talk, to talk about, about educating kids in energy conservation and renewables. So, Marcia, quickly, what do you do? Well, what do I do? Well, I teach grade five kids. That's great. I teach grade five kids teachers, actually, even more important it's the teachers that carry the message. Yes. So what we do in this program, it's a full program for the full strand of energy conservation resources in the grade five science curriculum, and it helps teachers teach physics, yep. which is a very difficult subject for them to teach. So we give them everything they need to do a great job, usually hands-on science, to teach kids the basics of energy, and then to teach them what energy means in terms of conservation. Our whole belief is if you don't understand energy, you really don't understand conservation. We need to find out where our, and in this case, this is a program about electricity. Where does our electricity come from in this province? Sure. You know, most people don't need, when they switch on the lights, they don't get the... And we should say, know. you're Ontario based. We're an Ontario based company, and this is an Ontario program. Mm -hmm. So, what we help the kids understand that, that energy is a precious resource, mm -hmm. and that it takes a lot to make it. Mm -hmm. And we do hands-on things like this, where we get them to create a little turbine fan, and they blow on this with a with a hair dryer, and it lights a little bulb. But it's difficult to do. Yeah. And it mirrors the fact that it's difficult to make electricity. That we need a lot of sources. So we teach them about all the resources we use for electricity in Ontario. Yep. And then we teach them once they get to a point where they say, okay. Now I understand that it's expensive to create, and also they understand the con connection between fossil fuels, mm -hmm. basically electricity production, fossil fuels, and climate change. And you do peaking as well? Peaking. We do, and we do. So after that, then we get into what can I do about it? And they, we also teach them about peak energy. We teach them uh, so they understand smart meters. They understand things that they can actually do. They can do a home audit. They can learn about phantom power. Ah. You know, unplug all those electrical devices around your home. But why do they need to do that? The question is why? Who cares? Yep, yep, so, yep. so our whole thing is to get them to care. Yep. So we, we take them through a series of activities that reach a point where they're saying, I want to do something about this. And then we teach them what they can do. This is fantastic. So they learn. So is there like a website that people can go to? There actually, there, there isn't a website yet. We're actually in the process of building a website for Generation Conservation. Okay. Um, they can go to our website. And um, your website is? Is a CGC www.cgced.com. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. I think it's an excellent idea. Thank you. Good luck with that. Yeah.